coverage continuing now this noon. This storm has forced the cancellation of thousands of flights in the Northeast, including many at Bradley International. Let's get the very latest on things from the airport and News Ace Bob Wilson, who joins us live. Bob. Yeah, you know, I see the sun, I see the sun, but right now the wind is the story. As they pile up the snow here in front of Bradley, we're kind of at the end of the runway here. We can still see the snow removal equipment out on the tarmac, out on the runways trying to combat the wind that has been blowing the snow back on, as Gil was talking about. You know, it's very wide open here, and they are going to be doing battle with the wind. And while they're out here doing battle, inside the terminal, we caught up with the one person who was stranded overnight, stuck inside on a cot. Take a look here. Her name's Deanna. She was great. She actually got in from Las Vegas. She had run from the hot desert. She got inside and then couldn't get out of the airport yesterday around 4.30. She tried to get a hotel room, couldn't get anything, and the airport came through. Bradley International Airport came down. They brought her a cot. They made her comfortable, got her food. And she says, you know, the, the security, everybody was checking on her all through the night. And while it wasn't ideal, she said she had the whole terminal all to herself. A little weird being in the airport all alone on a cot? No. No? I was, I was up here by myself, but people kept, the cops kept coming up, checking on me, and the managers. And airport operations working throughout the night. Take a look at this video that was shot uh, throughout the early morning hours and last night as they were doing a lot of snow removal. They were trying to get all of that snow off of the runway, and it was brutal last night as they were combating the wind and the snow. But right now, Bradley in pretty good shape. They have a lot of equipment out there. They are working as hard as they can to keep those runways clear so that when the planes start to land, when the order is given and the airlines start to put planes up into the air, Bradley will be ready, and they have been ready. They've been clearing the access roads, the frontage roads, so people can get in and out to pick up poor Deanna there. Once that travel ban is lifted at two, maybe her family can get up and get her. Their roads will be clear at the airport. And they have some guys working through the night, through the morning on uh, 25, 26, 28 hours straight through to make sure that when they give the okay, those flights will be able to land at Bradley. Well, that's what's going out here on the airport. It is good news. We see sun. We see uh, lessening off of the snow. Hopefully, things will be back to normal soon. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Windsor Locks. Back to you.